All video patterns are creative people, right? No. Hey Stitchers, your girl Chris here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel on social where it's totally cool to be obsessed with sewing. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you really quickly how to go about assembling a McCall's PDF pattern. Now, I thought initially that all PDF patterns were created equally. I learned you guys the hard way that that is not true. So the first time I bought a McCall's pattern, I spent my time and put it together in the very same way that I would put together a regular PDF pattern. At the end of my make, I realized that my skirt was way too big. So obviously I went back, I double checked my measurements, I double checked my size, and I was confident that my measurements and my size corresponded. So I just couldn't figure out why my skirt had ended up so big. Finally, it occurred to me that I had put together my PDF pattern incorrectly. In the usual PDF pattern way, I had trimmed off the edges of my pattern and had butt them up together before sticking them into place. I quickly learned that this is not the correct way to assemble a McCall's pattern and I'm going to show you today in this video how to assemble your McCall's PDF pattern in the hopes that you can avoid the same mistake that I made when I first started sewing McCall's PDF pattern. Alright, so before I start my demonstration, let me share with you really quickly what I'm wearing. This is the Duana DIY Ada Top. This is one of her own indie pattern companies. Now you might know that Duana designs for Nomi patterns, but this pattern was released before she started designing for Nomi patterns. Again, it is the Ada Peplum Top and Dress. Now this pattern actually comes with sleeves and it has a cute button down detail in the sleeve, but I did omit it in this make because I was knocking out this make using fabric left over from another make. Now about the fabric, I got it from Zaloof Fabrics. I can't even remember what the substrate is. I'm going to go ahead and check back in my emails to see if I can find it. And if I do, then I'll leave all the information down below in the description box. So now that you know what I'm wearing, let's go ahead with our tutorial. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate for you how you go, go about assembling a McCall's PDF pattern. Now assembling a McCall's pattern or a, a PDF pattern from the Big Five is quite different to your regular indie pattern um, installation process. So I'm gonna show you right now how I go about doing it. The first step, and I have started putting my pattern pieces together, but the first step is to trim away along your red line, along the bottom of your pattern, and up on the right-hand side of your paper piece. So for each printed paper, you're gonna cut away again along your bottom red line and up your right side of your paper piece along the red line. Now this has been done already for my first row and I like to go ahead and stick together my rows first. Um, and then I'll go about joining row one to row two, etc. So following my guide, my next piece should be row seven eight and nine which looks like this now in order to join row one to row two you can't just butt up your trimmed off pieces against the red line on your untrimmed piece if you do this your pattern is going to end up too big ask me how i know instead with mccall's pdf patterns you have to overlap these diamonds right here in the green. Can you see it? These green diamonds with a bar has to overlap with your second row at the green diamond and the bar. So in this case, I'm going to pull piece one over piece two, making sure that my pattern lines up at the um, arm side and at the back. Um, bodice and then I'm going to overlap my pieces so that the tip of my diamond butts up against the tip of the diamond on my second row. Now I'm going to be holding it into place and then taping it down. 
it's very important that you get your diamonds to overlap and I have found that this is the easiest way to make sure that my pattern pieces are lined up and that they have been assembled correctly. Now, the first time I put together a McCall's PDF pattern, I hadn't read and I didn't do it this way. I assembled it in the same way that I do my regular indie patterns by just trimming off the bottom, butting it up to the top of my second row and then sticking it into place. And my skirt that I made turned out way too big. And I was wondering what I had done because I thought I had chosen the correct size and whatnot. But then I discovered that I hadn't assembled my pattern piece correctly. So now row one is stuck to row two. And you simply continue the process for all of your rows until you get to the bottom of your pattern piece. All right, you guys, there you have it. A quick tutorial on how to assemble McCall's PDF pattern. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments section down below whether you made this mistake the first time you sewed a McCall's pattern or whether you were much smarter than me and you understood it right off the bat. If you have made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. If you have been here before and you consider yourself a part of my sewing community, then thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day spend a little time with me here in my videos. So that's all I have for you today, folks. And until next time, stay calm, stay cool, stay safe, and absolutely keep sewing.